Hi everyone, welcome to my uh, pretty garden. Uh, today is the last uh, day of summer season, so I wasn't able to uh, vlog or uh, film my summer uh, garden. So uh, before the end of uh, this season, I wanted to uh, have a little tour um, of my back to Eden garden. Okay, guys, come on in. Follow me. So, okay, come on in. Today, I'm going to uh, feature my um, beef stick uh, variety that I uh, planted in my garden. I, um, Categorize my beef stick into like dark colored and light colored beef steak. But uh, this year I decided to um, plant light colored beef stick. The one here, this is um, yellow brand wine beef stick. As you see, it's almost ripe. So probably I'm going to harvest this tomorrow and uh, maybe I'm going to feature it again in my next video. So this is the yellow one. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's the other yellow here, as you can see. You can see, uh, don't get surprised if you see some crack on the top or a bit of a deform like that other one there because this is the mark of a um, beef stick variety. So, okay, I'm going to tour or guide you around here. This one is um, Antrobe. I already harvested the uh, biggest one and the, um, uh, at the bottom one. As you can see, the stems already been cut off. So this is, uh, I think, the fifth fruit and this is the vine. And there's a big one here. So it's sort of like it's cooling uh, uh, down a lot at night and morning. So you could see that the leaves are sort of like crinkly. So this is an uh, anthroby. And when it turns uh, ripe, like this one, a bit here, huh? I'm going to shoot him here. When it turns ripe, this is ripe already. It's sort of like brownish red and a little green at top. This is ready to be picked. But I'm not picking that today. And this is also new in my garden. This one, this is roast indigo. This is new, this is so pretty. And um, the texture, I mean like, the taste is sort of like acidic but it's overpowered by the sweetness of it. This is very good for uh, salads and you can also munch that, uh, you know, while you're going around in your garden. And this one, this is the orange beef steak, as you can see. Again, you can see the crack on the top. The crack on the top. And also the heat also is making the skin crack like that. And this one. But this is, anyway, this is the mark of a beef steak. So this one, I got three plants here. There's the orange one. That's the orange one. Yeah, there's some more here. I have to cut down these uh, uh, dry leaves. But they're okay. They're not sick. That's very healthy. And also this one, I don't know if you can see it. Um, how big is that? I don't know if you can see him. Maybe you can go in around. Sorry guys, I'm going to leave you around here. My photographer will, or videographer will go on our side so you can see. The size of this tomato so this one I apologize I lost the name tag for this this is also new in my garden this is a beef stick variety I'm not too sure I, I I know for sure this is not red because as you can see it's turning yellow but I never had this in my garden before so I can't remember the name of it so I'm going to wait until it gets ripened see how big is that humongous and of course, in my next video, I'm going to weigh them in and see how um, big they are. Because last year, I got one point almost two uh, pounds. And one more here. There you go. This is uh, the biggie too, as you can see. There you go. And the last variety that I have here is this one. As you can see, guys, this is the green zebra. And... When they, they ripe, the color is like this. The bottom part, this is already ripe and ready to be picked. 
This is very, these are less acidic. This is good. This is good for people who got, um, how you call it, uh, if they're diabetic, not diabetic, um, cancer, because they're less acidic. Well, I have cancer. That's why the reason why I plant all kinds of uh, um, light colored. So I think you can see also this one. This one is ripe already. It's in the beauty. Look at this. Wow. And this is clean. This is the orange beef steak. So it seemed like I lost the red one. I think I didn't plant red one this year. So um, I'm going to just um, make a light or very short video today because I'm going to um, do another one tomorrow. So uh, anyway, um, that's all for now, guys. So these are the new variety of my best steak this year. So uh, it's getting like dark right now, so I cannot tour you around my... Um, BTA Guardian today. So anyhow, um, thank you so much for your time watching. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please do subscribe because I really appreciate that. So anyhow, I'm happy to be back. And um, okay, guys, thank you so much for your time. And um, good day or good afternoon. And God bless to everyone. Bye.